I'm speaking for myself. I have a lot of trust that if I call 911, if I call the police, if I call somebody for help, they will be here. I'm like, yeah, I don't care. You guys drag it. You guys drag the body. You guys drag the body to the corner. We'll pick it up. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to bonus content. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell button. It will help me a lot and I would really appreciate and I would love to have you here every week. I have been watching a whole lot of like true crime story channels lately. Sta Gigi and Ready to Glare. Very, very talented YouTubers and I love watching their content and they gave me the idea of bring out a story of my own. Obviously, they don't do personal stories. They do crime stories but this story today will be a story time of my experience so I hope you guys enjoy I do have another story time that I posted a couple of weeks ago I will put down in the description box the link for those youtuber channels as well as my story time video but don't forget to check that one out as well if you guys don't know my background I was born in Brazil and my first language is Portuguese if you guys haven't noticed accent in Brazil I used to go out a lot with my friends and have a lot of sleepovers one day I was just with my friends and hanging out I had gone to Brazil I was living in New York but I decided to go back to Brazil to finish high school and I just you know resumed my life with my friends and I just rekindled with my old friends and started hanging out with them I am going to call my friend Maria I used to hang out a lot with a group of friends and that in the house that I used to stay at the name of the owner of the house was Addison anyway so Maria was a common friend with John and Addison as I was a common friend with John and Addison so I met Maria Maria was a really cool girl it was kind of like a little community that house sleep over if we wanted to or go home if we wanted to whatever one day I'm like just there with them and it was late at night so I was gonna sleep over we it was about like what nine ten o'clock we we're about to like just watch a movie just starting to ease to sleep somebody knocked on the window so we go ahead and we open the window and it's Maria Maria looks really distressed Maria looks really stressed out she is like you guys you gotta come with me we were like in PJs and we're like what's happening like what's going on she's like I stabbed my stab dad and we were like what you did what she's like I'm gonna get arrested I'm gonna get arrested I'm gonna get arrested so at that point we were like we didn't know what to do we we didn't want to get involved in this mess like what are you doing telling us that you step that you stabbed somebody like don't tell me you stabbed someone go well, I don't know but I didn't know better so it was like all right well, let's try to help Maria we all got out of the house we all walked with Maria to her house she was telling us that she was at home and her stepdad used to drink a lot there was a lot of abuse going on in the house the stepdad used to be violent with their mom he came into the house started physically abusing her mom she tried to fight with him he overpowered her and she just proceeded to a knife and she said that she stabbed him in the back he fell on the floor he wasn't moving i was thinking already like you know csi investigation a bunch of police gonna come she's gonna get arrested we're probably gonna you know spend the whole night in jail or the sheriff's office like to testify of what happened because now we were kind of part of it right she ran to us we walk to her house we get there I refuse to get in the house I don't claim to know anything about law but I have common sense I'm not gonna you know just get into a crime scene so I called the police at that point she didn't know if he was breathing but he was definitely not moving when she left so we just assumed that he was deceased in Brazil at the time it was not like it is here in the US they call 911 you needed to call the nearest precinct so that's what I did I called the nearest precinct from her house and I told what happened to the police officer I cannot even begin to tell you guys how I felt I cannot even like I was just beyond shocked what he goes like is he alive and I said I don't know I'm not getting into the house I am not one of the family members I am not getting in she said that he's not and he's like is he moving is he breathing and I told him like we don't know we are outside does he have insurance and I was like why he goes like well if he does have insurance you guys need to call a hospital to come pick him up we were like okay but what if he does not 
have insurance like can't you guys just come and pick him up like yeah no that's not how it works for the police to pick up a body it has to be on the street and if the body is not on the street it needs to be a, a health care provider from your health insurance do you guys understand this i don't know if he has insurance like nobody in brazil really has insurance because we have free health care so i asked maria i was like maria does he have health insurance she's like no he doesn't have insurance now what? He actually verbalized that we needed to drag a dead body to the street. Let's think about this. It's an active crime scene. You want three teenagers to go inside a active crime scene and drag a dead body to the street. If the police themselves are telling us to go drag that body, they're not going to do any investigation. Not saying that Rio is like that today because this was over 20 years ago and things have changed. After I spoke to this policeman and I just told her, dude, I will not go inside to drag nobody. I am not going to go inside to get myself involved in it. And I walked away from it and... To this day, I don't know what happened to her, and I'm pretty sure she wasn't arrested or anything because the police didn't even want to come. They didn't even want to come. So we just walked back home, and we were like, wow, this was insane. I could not ever expect that a police officer would tell us this. But I do not live in Brazil anymore, so I do not know how things are there nowadays. Obviously, it's probably a lot better, but whenever you guys go out of the country, make sure not to think that you're gonna do certain things and you're gonna have the police or the fire department or the hospitals or anybody that's a government body back you up on things. You don't know what that nation's police, whatever, protocols are. Just take this story in consideration. If you go to another country, don't count with anyone by yourself. Be very careful. Be very cautious when you go to places that you don't know, when you go to places that you are getting to know. So don't depend on someone else for your safety. Well, guys, I hope you guys like this story. <laughs> Give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. I would really appreciate it. Ring that bell button so you can get notified every time I post. And I hope you guys are back here for the next video. I'll see you guys Sunday.